up guys welcome back to the channel so i'm walking through a piece of property i forestry mulched back in 2018 which is basically a bobcat with a bunch of teeth up front on an attachment we came in here and we cleared everything out now we got this beautiful grass area and i've got pine trees which is awesome because it is basically uh evident of high and dry ground and it came out beautiful it came out exactly what i thought it's two and a quarter acres it's on a big busy road the Sarasota International Airport is about a mile and a half that way. And um, it's for sale. And I was just speaking with my client. He's got another property down the road, another piece of commercial property. This is technically zoned residential, but apparently has the ability to turn into a storage lot, which is what I've asked him to do. And I'm like, hey, I would like to buy, a, I would like to turn this into a storage lot. Would you like to do a deal on it? He's like, I've had partners before. I don't, he's like, I'm old. I mean, he is, he is genuinely an old man. Um, he inherited it from his mother. And back when this was a dirt road and now it is three lanes this way three lanes the other way and they're expanding it into a fourth lane on both sides so it has grown quite a bit it's got it for sale right now for a little over 800 grand and i spoke with him this afternoon at his other property that we're looking at clearing we just gave him a quote it was a little bit more than he thought it was going to be but it was like to clear his other property of seven acres and so i talked to him about this and i'm like hey look what about that those two acres you have do you want to do you want to sell those uh, because I want to do a storage lot on it and I want to do a storage lot for a long, long time. And so this week when Chris Taylor of Financial Fitness gets back from the uh, Economic Ninja Conference in Denver, I'm going to sit down with him on a Zoom, maybe Mackie of Ironside Ranch and talk to both of those guys. They've done more real estate deals than I have done, um, but I've run the cash flows on this. I'm going to run the numbers, see how many units I can put on it. I think I get a ten to $12,500 a month cash flow on this property here. I've already cleared it. I do have to completely strip and clear it, which is why you forestry mulch prior. This is kind of my plan when I saw this thing four years ago. And the fact that it hasn't sold yet, he's got it listed for above 800 grand. I think it's a little high. He says, look, Trav, if you want to take it, give me 450 and you can take it. And I'm like, okay, cash flow. Cash flow is looking like 10 to 12, maybe 13,000 a month. I got to talk to Chris on this deal. And then I'm going to raise capital to do this deal because I've already got my own property that we're, we're under construction on. And I've got a couple other things in the works. Uh, mainly that one. That's like my big you know, goal. I want to accomplish that and pay for it cash as we go. This one I want to raise capital on either through in loan or partners. I think I favor the partner idea um, because it's in a, such an area where once you've got it developed, so to say, uh, there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of apartment complexes that have already gone up. I love the idea of storage loss because your your rent is diversified amongst 80 to 100 tenants. I have to run my math and my spreadsheet to see how many units I could actually put on here. But essentially, this is a nice rectangular piece of property. I would clear out these pine trees off of it, bring in a little bit of fill dirt. Um, this is the lowest spot on the property where the neighbor had dug a ditch. So I have to I have to negotiate with the neighbor here as to what we want to do because their water literally doesn't run. So I would like to do a washout station here. And so I need to get approval to put a well and a washout station, which I think would be really easy to do. Being that it could be commercial property, but I, I want to do commercial, I want to do storage a lot with it. And if that's the case, I'm looking at a piece of property that I think I could have developed for under 600, 650. And it should have about a 10, 15, $12,000 a month cash flow on it. So about 100, 125, maybe up to $150,000 a year cash flow on 600 grand is a freaking great ROI. And uh, I'm gonna talk with I'm gonna talk with Chris at Financial Fitness because he does a lot of real estate with his wife. And my wife is in real estate, but we've done a lot of residential. And I've always wanted to jump into a commercial. And being that I'm in the excavation business, I can do the excavation, can hire in a fencing company, I have to put some security cameras up. I'd like to put in a well, I've used, I've used a well drilling company here previously on my own property and other properties. And uh, so fence and really good security system. Would be nice to have a, a washout station because it's right down the road from the boat ramp. So that's really the client I'm going for. And I'm looking at like 125, $150 a month spots. I think I have 80 to 100 spots. And um, so anyway, I'm in the process of trying to put together this deal. And later on this, this week, I will let you guys know. Um, but I'm definitely going to have Chris Taylor on. And we're going to talk about how I could form this deal and what it would look like. Because the ROI on this is absolutely fabulous if I can pull this off. Doing some due diligence. I had a uh, landscape company. that we, we kept all of our equipment here. And I kept a couple trailers and trucks. 
and this lot here i'm just kind of comparing prices like a 10 by 30 is 150 dollars a month uh they're nine by 17 is 110 a month and they're seven 15 by 40 is 200 a month they only have the small spots available so anyway when i was renting here it was a little bit cheaper but not too too much and i'm comparing out how large or how many spots they have there versus how many i can put in that piece of property i'm trying to obtain we'll see i gotta run the numbers with chris and see what chris's opinions are but i got to put together the entire project on paper to be like hey here are the numbers like what like what's good like what's how where do we go from here and then i have to raise capital or figure out if I, how i want to position it but i like the fact that the numbers here are really good this is a paved lot i'll probably do a shell and gravel lot but I'll do a wash down because being a boater myself and having been a landscaper in this lot for five or six years before I moved to another piece of property, it would have been nice to just have access to a hose and a wash down station, but I probably won't pave to start off. I might pave and maybe do some covered areas as we go, but initially I just want to get it going, get it cash flowing, get the project profitable, and then go from there. All right, back here at the office. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together these numbers, figure out how many units could go on this piece of property. It's funny, because I went to my old storage lot that I used to rent from for a number of years. I noticed that there's this, the, the, the trail, but they have this like rails to trails initiative that's going on, and they've actually got bike trail going back there. It's hilarious because this property that I would like to get, that I can make the numbers work on it, is right on the same railroad track that hasn't been paved yet so i'm like pfft. it's like literally on the exact same line north to south it just ends up being four miles north of the other lot so that's kind of cool that's positive it's also real close to boat ramps and so um when i went by both the two different storage lots to kind of get comps to figure out okay what are things renting for both of them were like we don't have any spots so i'm like that's good um so anyway i'm gonna put together the numbers rough numbers like real real rough numbers see if the thing works and then if it works i'm gonna go ahead and and figure out how I wanna go about funding the project. Do I wanna pay for it myself? Do I wanna raise capital? Do I wanna go, go in, grab some investors? Do I wanna take a bank loan? But it's purely if the numbers work on it. I think I could get the land for a little bit cheaper than 450. It's been for sale for a long time. He threw me that number in 2018. He threw me that number. He listed it way above that. I think it's listed at like north of 800 grand right now. So I'm pretty confident it's gonna sit like it has been for the last four years. But it's good to know that he's willing to move at 450. So I think that there's some negotiation room between four and 450 with this particular guy. He's a client of mine. He's been a client for four and eight, four years now. So he's got a decent relationship with him. He's an older guy. He just wants to exit out of it. He inherited the property. He doesn't want to pay the tax on it. So he doesn't really care. Uh, it's not like he has any front front costs in it. But he's had it like in his family for a long time, like when there was a dirt road out there. So. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put together the numbers, have Chris Taylor on later this week, and we'll see what Chris thinks, because Chris really is the real estate master. He's done a lot of rentals. His wife's in real estate. My wife's in real estate. Um, my parents have a brokerage, but my my family hasn't really messed with commercial properties, and that's pretty much my interest, is I'm pretty much into like ranch and farm, larger estate type of properties, or commercial. I don't have a whole lot of love for like the smaller stuff, um, and the duplexes, and I mean, I get it, but it's just never been my thing it never really like lit my fire this stuff though lights my, lights my fire for sure and it's a good way to diversify rent over 100 120 units maybe 80 units maybe it's down but it's very diversified you know you can have a 20 percent non-payment rate and you literally just you know take possession after 60 days or whatever the laws are here in the state so we're gonna get chris on this week i'll let you guys know when that's gonna happen and we will see what chris's thoughts are thank you guys for watching and as always i will catch you in the comments